Hello, welcome back to our Clinical Lab Science Learning Channel, MLS QR, where we will be looking at four interesting white blood cell anomalies that you may encounter in your peripheral blood smear exams. After the presentation, please stay tuned in for the Q&A to follow. There are surprisingly many questions in the ASCP study guide that ask about this interesting topic. If we don't look for these anomalies, then we might not find them, even though it's right in front of us. Pelcher-Hewitt anomaly is an autosomal dominant disorder characterized by decreased nuclear segmentation with a distinctive coarse chromatin clumping pattern. And note the sunglass appearance of the nucleus, bilobed with a thin filament. Pelcher-Hewitt nuclei has been described in the old textbooks as pince-nez, which is French to describe a style of old French eyeglasses that pinch the nose. We will also see a preponderance of bands, up to 50% or more, with nuclei of granulocytes resembling dumbbells. Pelcher-Hewitt anomaly is an autosomal dominant defect of the lamin beta receptor gene but it is considered benign because the granulocytes are still capable of bacterial killing. By the way, see my other video on polymorphonuclear function for more details on bacterial killing. The Alder-Riley anomaly is an autosomal recessive disorder associated with mucopolysaccharidosis, which is a lysosomal storage disease that involves the accumulation of glycosaminoglycans in the tissues. In the peripheral blood smear, Polymorphonuclear segs with large cytoplasmic granules are noted, sometimes in clusters, and they resemble what? Toxic granulations. You see also toxic granulation in the lymphocytes and monocytes. The Mayheglin anomaly is an autosomal dominant disorder associated with thrombocytopenia. The appearance in the peripheral blood smear, irregular blue cytoplasmic granules, and these resemble what? Dolly bodies. Also note the giant platelets. Our fourth leukocyte disorder typically presents with the affected child who comes in with a history of frequent infections. An immune deficiency is suspected. The clinician notes oculocutaneous albinism due to the melanin being trapped in lysosomes and a history of autosomal recessive pattern is found in the family tree. Right away, we notice the huge cytoplasmic granules in granulocytes plus other phagocytes, and we see giant lysosomes. Chidi-Higashi syndrome is a rare autosomal recessive disease of immune dysregulation with a genetic mutation that encodes free protein that regulates the morphology and function of lysosomal organelles, forming fused granules and abnormally large lysosomes. Because of the leukocyte lysosomal dysfunction, children suffer from frequent life-threatening pyogenic infections and bleeding due to malfunctioning platelets, usually resulting in death by 10 years of age. In hematopoiesis, what we discussed so far involves granulocytes, monocytes, macrophages, and megakaryocytes. And here's a summary of the white blood cell anomalies and the Chidi-Higashi syndrome. And now for some Q&A that is similar to the ACP Board of Certification Study Guide.
Thank you for your attention and support and I'll see you in my next video.